Good morning or afternoon, whatever it is. I'm this dreary notes from the field. Um, here I am at the house of somebody that we planted and adapt uh, free micro meadow installation for around this beautiful stump of a uh, silver maple that last year was a very, very large, fully leafed out, probably 70 foot tall silver maple. And well, the ice storms took it out. So this is a lesson about silver maples. Silver maples are great native trees that belong in swamps, um, but we've, they grow really fast. So we've decided to plant them in a lot of our urban landscapes. There's one right there as a uh, street tree on the easement. There's uh, quite a few more down the road over here. Um, I don't know if you can see that tall one behind that little red uh, library bunch back there. Their growth habit is that they grow really fast and then they break apart and then they fall into the ground in swamps where they reroot, um, which is a great, great asexual um, reproduction strategy um, in swamps where you can do that kind of shit, but not so great when the tree's right up next to your house. So they're pretty lucky here that this, uh, this thing, when it fell, um, it, it was so huge. It fell between the house and the car, um, and there was no damage to either. Phew! Um, I have some great pictures of this from last year. And once you can see all these cool little holes right there, you can see that one limb. That was the one that fell between. You can see it totally ho hollowed out. And then this, I mean, God. How awesome would it be to be like a little gnome and just make yourself a little seat in here? Oh man, I bet there's a lot of ants and termites and bees and all kinds of dudes that are loving this. Oh man, I mean, I love it. I can't, maybe I'll see if I can hop myself up in there. Anyway, um, so if you have a silver maple growing up next to your house, um, highly recommend having a uh, tree people come out and just give it a, an assessment at the very least. If you have um, limbs that are hanging over your house, facing your house, anything like that, just spend the money and get rid of them. It will be the best use of your money um, that you could possibly imagine. I don't, I don't want any silver maples falling on your house. What I do want though is for you to have uh, you know, not have to spend all your money fixing your house so that you can do things like, uh, well, you could support Adapt and we could plant more of these gardens. So in this garden, we have some, uh, well, this was a shade garden at one point, but we'll see how it works out. We have some zigzag goldenrod going here, Solidago flexicollis. We have a few uh, big leaf aster, Eurybia macro phyla, phyla. Uh, if you speak Latin, tell me about it. Um, I think we probably planted like five of these, but I'm only seeing uh, two. Oh, there you go. There's a third. Um, three come up. They're like a little hit. Here's some bottle brush grass. Some of them looking better than others. We have some wild geranium, or as I like to call it, wild geronimo. This one looks like it uh, was dinner for a rabbit. There's some Carex rosea. And finally, we have some wild columbine, Aquilegia canadensis. Uh, man, I love all these guys. This is gonna look so good. Well, anyways, after planting this, then after the tree falling, the uh, homeowner decided that they were gonna use our DAPT landscape services. And I'm actually out here today measuring this because we're gonna take out all this front lawn here and we're gonna put in a nice, uh, sunny, short grass prairie garden. I don't know, the soils have a uh, pretty good loam, so, um, you know, we'll figure out what our plant list is. Maybe I'll take some more, maybe I'll give you guys a good update on this one. But here it is, notes from the field on this dreary, crappy, horrible, no good, terrible day. I hope you all I hope you all find sunshine somewhere because it's not in Michigan. Mm -mm. I see all you people with your 
native plants. I see your, I see everything that you have flowering, even just, even just like four hours south of here. Not here. Everything is just like, mm. all right.